Self-refinement is the way to... Your grim fate alone speaks for that old Long's bullying. <laughs> Pray refrain from blaming him. His ill temper persists unaltered since the first day of our long acquaintance. Regret not, for his power endures. His desire be but one more pill, gladly bestowed by me. From yin and yon, sky and earth. <laughs> Seek from within to ascend. I have a search. Uncover the secrets of sky and ascend. Seek from without. You were one of them. Well, what happened to me? The vanguard of the Bull King is relieved. You're unharmed. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. I knew of you long ago. The thing you seek, the King must know about it. Nowhere. The whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up, burning everything in their path. You seem clever. How about you find a way to destroy them, eh? They're called Five Element Carts, an evil and powerful invention of the King's son. I'm afraid they're not only guarding the passes. Trust me, 
There's more to it. Got to hold my ground at the entrance for a while. Can't imagine the chaos without me.
charmer, aren't you, boy? But these eyes have seen prettier disguises. Yao Guai! Your true face! Out with it! If a single lie slips, my rake shall strike true! <laughs> that was so close. Thank you for saving me. I am the Bull King's daughter, Ping Ping. Oh, nonsense! The Bull has no daughter! Dare to fool me, scoundrel! <laughs> I, I know who you are! My mother is Princess Fairfox. You killed her! After my mother died, I've been living with my father. His wife, Princess Rikshasi, took me in as her own. Later, brother came back from Bodhisattva Guan Yin, and we reunited. We had some peaceful days. My brother was kind, to me and to our parents. But somehow, not long ago, he suddenly changed. He secretly summoned his old troops for a coup. Imprisoned father, kept mother under strict watch. I... I had nowhere else to turn. I had to go for help. But barely after leaving the place, his minions fell upon me. <laughs> the Bull King's might is known. Even together, Wukong and I couldn't rival him. Rakshasi's plantain fan is also formidable. And you want me to believe that they were subdued by a kid? Subdued by their son? <sighs> Who else could make them put their guard down? Really, with soft hearts, they could never harm him. You idiot! This fox is fooling you! Look at this place! Only my brother's Samadhi fire could wreak such havoc! Oh no! My father is dying. Please, kind monkey, help me and my family! A perilous place this is. Keep this cicada safe with you. It'll come in handy. That's a voice I know well. I'll go ahead and take a look. No time to lose now. Follow me. This way. I tolerate no evil under my nose. Neither does my axe. Bring me more revenants so I can chop them up. Give my words.
else did Master Pig whisper to you just now? I've let go of our blood feud, but he still holds so much hostility. My brother's minions are everywhere. Stay close to me, kind monkey. Brother and I used to play around there. The Valiant Six had their ways of amusing us. What fun we had together. I'll get through this hole, and you can pass by that back ahead. <laughs> My paws beat your feet. never give you the fan to be used against her precious son.
Ha 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 ha! 
Our lady welcomes no. <laughs> beyond this plan. Mother, please, I am begging you. Father's life hangs on a thread, a thread which brother could cut short any moment. Since when did you start caring for that old bull? Do you not think you can hide your secret wish from me? You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother once we are finished. If you won't act, Mother, then I implore you to... to lend me your plant and fan to save Father. <sighs> Words from cunning foxes. You just want to trade my fan for a smile on your brother's face. I... I owe my life to Father. And to your kindness for taking me in. Brother was good to me, but I would never betray my parents for him. Say no more of the fan. We raised the boy. Guess this is what we deserve. But you... Why are you here at this very moment? Rakshasi, I'm not a part of your family, and I'm aware I have no voice in this. But Ping told me the destined one had arrived. <laughs> The destined one, who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old bastards must have pulled a muscle coming up with the name. You and I both know who he truly is. When the time comes, your children, your husband, and even this very palace could all turn to ashes. What do I have to fear from a mere pawn? 
He's no match for us. He can't even rival the power of my fan. Once the truth is revealed, suddenly he is here. Do you not find it odd? Such a twist of fate. The truth? The truth of what? Who are you talking about? I heard the Destined One had obtained all the other relics. Rakshasi, your situation is grave. Do you not see who mandated his return? Were those relics really bestowed for your good? Perhaps amid these schemes and plots, we've unwittingly become stepping stones for his rebirth. For others, I care not. All along, you are all I care for. I say we should leave together. I vow to treasure you dearly, just like when we're up there. I never thought that one day you'd be the only one I can rely on. I am overwhelmed. Come, sit with me and tell me what to do. Don't let him, Mother! Don't you see? He is taking advantage of you! You lecher! I call for your help, not your treachery! How, how dare you! A child of a concubine should know better manners. When I first crossed paths with her, your bull of a father was no more than livestock, munching on a patch of grass. Have you no shame? Mother, don't be fooled! Enough of your endless prattle. Hmm. <laughs> now, that's better. Rakshasi, have we not been this close since our time in Tushita Palace? Well, yes, I do miss the old days, too. Oh, you were so happy back then. What's in the blazes? No, no tricks, tricks here. here. It's, it's just, just my, my hoof. hoof. You, you deserve, deserve to know, to know before we kiss. You will live to repent this. Filthy <sighs> low life. You dare take her form and beguile me. My old friend, wasn't it fun? Have we not been this close since our carnage in the fox den? <laughs> you abhorrent fraud! My candid words were wasted on your foul ears! Candid, my hoof! Your revenants are everywhere! I thought you'd have better lies! Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson. Vile beast! Your savagery knows no cure! But you will behave once my sourceless water from Toshita drops. I've aided your journey once. Now I shall aid you again on your way to death.
think you would. Granted you no From yin and yang arises two sides. From land and sky emerges the divide. Now you shall be feasted upon by my yin yang fish. What a stingy host! Such a meager fish. Hardly enough for a platter. been revealed. Disasters are sure to follow. The turmoil you witness 
is but a ripple caused by a drop from above. <laughs> <laughs> well, gone already. Bad news after a good nap. <laughs> He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. <sighs> decent until ruined by brother Wukong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. <laughs> You, go up this way. Check if any way leads up. I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there. to come. Who will know of our rise and fall? Alas, in life, never enough drinks to enthrall. Why oh, carry a tattered gourd? Find yourself a decent one, and we may share a drink. In years to come, who will know of our rise and fall? Alas, in life, never enough drinks to enthrall. Oh, I carry a tattered gourd. Find yourself a decent one, and we may share a drink.
Kind sir, pause your steps and heed my story. I was a fox guy who practiced to become one of the humans. One day, I was foraging for food and found myself caught in a hunter's trap. A young scholar saved me and kept me in his home to let me heal. I couldn't move, yet my heart swelled with gratitude. I thought I could aid him in his career in return for saving my life. Little did I foresee that following a dream, he would take my life. My soul lingered, yet he left without a trace. I sought tirelessly, only to find he had become a monk in the new Thunderclap temple. I beg you, sir, to take my fur and wear my form. Come for me and calm my soulful heart. He's hiding in the side hall of the temple. Come, sir. Ready. For years, I've prayed you'd find peace. Still, you come to take my life in penance against yours. You wouldn't understand my agony when I took your life. The Buddha sees no such vengeance. I shall usher you to the beyond once more.
on this. The nature of your coins is beyond remedy. I've brought this upon myself. Mortals and Yao Guai's walk different paths, but it's after seeing him again that I understood. Those who fear Yao Guai's are fouler than what they fear. 